hello everyone. My name is Shashank Gupta, uh, and my PI is uh, Assistant Prof. Dr. Chang Yin Tai, and I work uh, in uh, synthesis of quantum dots. So we very frequently use uh, high vacuum cold trap system to generate uh, high vacuum for the synthesis in this wet chemical synthesis procedure for the quantum dots. So this is a typical setup of uh, Schrent line and the cold trap. This is the trap uh, which is connected via this copper tubing to the Schrent line. Before starting, we need to make sure that we wear proper PPE before we start doing the synthesis. So first thing is the specs, the second thing is the gloves, then we need to wear the coat and lastly we need to cover our feet with the shoes properly. So yeah. This is pretty much the introduction. Now I'll show you how we set up the cold. This is the liquid nitrogen cylinder. First we pour it into this. Okay, this is a Devar flask. We pour the liquid nitrogen into this Devar flask very carefully. After filling it, we need to leave it for like 30 seconds so that the level stabilizes and the liquid nitrogen boils off. Okay, so before uh, it's, uh, this Devar flask in the cold trap, we need to switch on the vacuum. So, firstly, we close this air vent and open the vacuum vent and uh, we'll switch on the plug for the vacuum gauge and the pump so as you can see that the vacuum will uh, it has started to rise the, the this this the pump is uh, taking out the air from the strength line and the copper tubings we should do it using a globe because the liquid nitrogen will uh, splash out once we insert this Devar flask has to be done very carefully. So we have successfully set up the cold shot. Now we need to cover it with a towel so that we can minimize the evaporation of liquid nitrogen. So this is a typical setup of the coil trap. Now as we can see that as the copper tubings are connected to the strength line, we can use these, uh, these openings to put on the vacuum in whichever tube we want to. And uh, also you can see that the vacuum is going down. It will take some time to go, it goes, it can go up till 100 millitor and uh, yeah. So this is pretty much the setup, it's uh, part of the whole trap. So now as we can see that the vacuum has gone down to less than 150 millitor as I said before. So now I'll take out the cold trap and show you how it is done. It has to be done with uh, very carefully and uh, slowly. So the thing is firstly we remove this towel and uh, Using this towel, we need to, we can take out the cold trap, so yeah. So after this is done, we firstly need to close the Schlent line by this Schlent line vent. Now as you can see the vacuum has gone down because we have closed the Schlent line. And now we need to close the vacuum gauge and the pump. After doing this, we need to take out this Devar plus. So we need to lower down this lap jack slowly. I need to take out this Devar plus from the cold trap. Now after doing this, we need to vent so that the air can go inside and the vacuum is released. So this is how we take out the cold trap and uh, yeah so thank you for watching this video.